Scorpio, let's get, let's get to your channel messages. Like the video and subscribe to the channel as you come into the reading so that we continue to grow or at some point during this reading if something happens to hit and resonate for you, right? You can get more messages like this in the future as the channel uh, grows more and we spread more throughout the algorithm. That whole sort of thing, you know. So let's see, for Scorpio, what's the vibe for Scorpio today? Nothing in particular, we're just letting uh, the universe do its thing, divine flow. What comes into the reading is what you need to know. Bars. What does Scorpio need to know in regards to their current energies? What's surrounding them and what's coming towards them? What's the advice from the Cardomancy today about the current energies? What's the message for Scorpio today? Please, Spirit, see judgment, which is your card showing up. Get a couple more shuffles in and then we'll start your reading. Message for Scorpio today, Spirit. What is the message for our water sign? There goes judgment. <laughs> so judgment showing up in your reading today. Maybe you're judging someone or needing to judge someone. There's a judgmental atmosphere around you. I don't know why I'm being reminded of like Saturn returns and that sort of thing, right? I also look at judgment as being uh, Capricorn. Um, well, not necessarily Capricorn, but it reminds me of Saturn and Saturn rules Capricorn. So, yeah. <laughs> so, it's an earth angel, like getting someone's attention. It's a declaration or someone letting their presence be known or... It's an invitation or an opportunity for the universe to say, hey, you need to reflect right, and, and make a decision or there's going to be a, a judgment made on your behalf here. Ten of Swords, overthinking here. Hmm. Yeah, you don't want to end up <laughs> I'm getting that craft <laughs> toward the end of the movie after they tried to jump her and she kicked all their asses, right? She's like, um, and they tried to ask her if she still had powers. And she didn't say anything, so they, like, started talking crap to her. Like, oh, she probably doesn't have any powers. And then she turned around, made a tree fall on them, and said, you guys better be careful. You don't want to end up like Nancy. Then we saw Nancy in a straitjacket in a mental hospital, right? Eight of swords, exactly. What, 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 where's the lie? <laughs> so either, mm, hmm, this is judgment coming from somewhere. It could be either gossip and rumors or someone just over obsessing about you, right? Now, if they're getting, unless they're getting paid for this, aka a judge or a lawyer or someone in the political system, you know, half these people don't have any integrity anyway, trying to judge somebody, right? Like, let me not, let me, let me not go there because I have a gripe with some of these individuals. The sun card, illumination, freedom even. So this could be a message in regards to someone's freedom. See, all these messages, they tend to be different here. For Scorpio, you hide away a lot. That is hidden energy, right? That's being locked away, right? Being secluded. And now we have the sun coming out with revelation or um, a bright moment here. A sunny disposition, right? Joy, positivity, happiness. Could even be a creative project that someone's been obsessing over as well. Could be on some sort of a timing or deadline. They feel like they're overworked. They've been overthinking this. Or possibly an editor or something like that. Three of Swords. Heartbreak. Ooh. Maybe someone was holding their lover down while they was locked up or in jail or whatever the case may be. Oh my God, this sounds so ghetto. <laughs> But in the middle of the spread is the sun card, so there's a light at the end of the tunnel, right? Echo chamber, which reminds me of a tunnel, eight of swords, and then the sun, a light at the end of the tunnel. Three of swords, heartbreak. Damn, nothing but swords here. Five of swords, an argument or something like that, or a misunderstanding, a debate even. There's a silver lining here, though. God, what do we pull from this? Ten of swords conclusions right <laughs> eight of swords anxiety right before I, i'm gonna skip over the sun card because i'm say this is we're gonna save the best for last in this case three of swords heartbreak and then five of swords revenge someone's judging you or they have it out for you right judgment like now that's you showing up in your reading also are you judging someone right 
Is this children? Ooh. The youngest of our society, they're not fully mentally developed and they can't even defend themselves, right? But I don't know what the message is and I don't want to get too far into it here. But there is um the sun card here. Could be dealing with a Leo. Could be dealing with an actual sun. We could be dealing with some sort of a relate revelation or enlightening moment. An enlightenment moment. Yeah, it's reminding me that of that movie Martyrs, right? Oh, man, is this like a hostage situation? Even worse, if it's in regards to children. We already know what's been going on with that war. I, I literally watch the news. <laughs> I never watched more news in my last uh, vacation or stint in the hospital for a whole two weeks. Good Lord, right? And like the um, the way that they were handling the hostages and handling the truce and all this, well, whatever, the negotiations. And then like it was so much um, women and children that were being affected in that situation. Like I heard nothing about the men for whatever reason, right? But like the women and the children, the weakest of us, Tony Montana, yeah. Even he had integrity, right? He, he, didn't, he didn't want to kill women or children. He's like, the hell? So... There is a light at the end of the tunnel. There is a saving grace. I'm not sure that this person is coming to help you. Because it could be something simple like a, a someone. It, this could be like an editor or something like that. Or a writer working on um, a project. Or some, some sort of a creative passion project. And there is like a deadline or something like that. And you could very well be inspired. What is this? Uh, writer's block. And then the sun comes in. Yeah, so this could be someone um, inspiring you or something like that. Or it could be one of those negative situations where we're dealing with imprisonment here. A wrong, I'm not going to say wrongfully accused or a hostage situation. I don't know what the hell this is. I'm about to end this reading. Down. <laughs> but stay positive, right? That's, that's definitely how you want to manifest. I know it's hard in some situations here. Who is this, Scorpio? Good Lord. Mind over matter is what I, I would say as well, right? Trust me, I know there's a lot of people that can't really, um, you know, put themselves in other people's shoes or walk a mile in other people's shoes. This this is why Jesus preached agape love, right? He, he And relationships, right? He can relate to everyone, right? Because he loved everyone. He built a relationship with everyone. Everyone should have some sort of a divine connection with whoever they worship here, right? But the whole point is, right, to be able to, um, yeah, man, have faith, have hope at the end of the day, right? <clears throat> so there's someone coming, we're not going to say they, they're coming to save you, but there's a saving grace here. There's mercy coming from somewhere, right? We can even, we can even miss the magic, right? Anyways, hopefully you guys, um, Enjoy the rest of your day. Hopefully everything's going good with you, Scorpio. Or even if you're witnessing this, don't let this affect you and turn you sour, right? Catch you guys on the next one. Peace.